So like um, all of you, all the country, all the world, I'm a weenie bit obsessed with Game of Thrones and I've not painted a Game of Thrones painting yet, which is peculiar. So, I'm going to do one. And who better to paint than uh, Khaleesi Daenerys Targaryen. She is extremely pretty and she's got that mad brilliant hair, so it's going to be pretty fun to paint. I want to do her in the... Um, along the heroine line of paintings I've done, like the Buffy, the Hermione, and have a background of uh, decoupage pages, or collaged if you like. But I don't have any Game of Thrones books cooking around. So what I want to do, I want to combine Game of Thrones with something that's obviously a massive, massive, massive influence to it, uh, Lord of the Rings. Um, and I found this amazing book, um, which is this one here, called uh, Characters from Tolkien. It has all these amazing pictures in. Look at these. So this is going to be a, uh, not a mashup, um, I guess, showing where it came from. So all this type of artwork will work really well. Um, and it'll add something very cool to it. I mean, look at this, like this picture of Gollum. Um, I don't know who that is. Actually, that's Frodo. No, Merry and Pippin. So that's why I'm going to back this canvas with is the, uh, the Tolkien books. I love the idea of having... Um, Daenerys on a background of Lord of the Rings because it, it, it kind of shows the history, it shows the layers of time. Um, I'm really excited, I'm really looking forward to painting her. So um, right now I'm going to go through these Tolkien books and Lord of the Rings books, find some good passages, find some good pictures and pages, cut them out and then we're going to decoupage them onto that canvas there that's behind the easel um, and then we'll get onto painting. So let's collage! So here's the collection, we've got a few pages from The Return of the King and then I've gone through the Tolkien books to get ones that I think connect it a bit more to uh, to Game of Thrones so we've got a lot of dragons um, and then sort of nice scenery, coloured ones of the dragon uh, obviously we need Sam and uh, Frodo and Gollum um, I'm not sure that's meant to be Erwin maybe. A few battle scenes up there. Some kings and queens which I think is very very apt. And some little flowers and bits and bobs. So these I'm going to now stick all over that. So I've just done the uh, spray painting and the splatting and what have you onto the canvas of where all the uh, Lord of the Rings books are. Pretty busy at the moment. What I've tried to do is incorporate the spray into the, the pictures so the dragon or the wraith and uh, Frodo just little bits of highlights here and there. Um, at the moment it's a bit too heavy. I will go back in and scrape this all off when it's dry. It's a mixture of uh, water-based spray paint and acrylic. There you can see we've got lots of layers and hopefully when I start scraping away this it will reveal bits that haven't been touched by the paint.
are just about halfway through the painting, so I'm going to do a little recap. She's looking pretty good so far. Um, what's left to do is these eyes, and they need some detail added to them. As you can see, they're just plain paint at the moment, so I'll add a load of black pen to them and a little bit of black paint, uh, like I've done here, a bit of cross section. These are roughly done. I want to add a load more uh, ticks and what have you around their lips to get them fuller hair i think i'm going to probably leave the hair really basic so just with these little like um rigid shapes of gray then a bit of the paint dripping down the concern bit is or the concern corner is this area here uh, at the moment i think that's too dark when i come back see we got a bit too much i don't know it's a bit too blocky so i think what i'm going to do is take this whitish color here which is very light gray and maybe splat that across down there just to break this up a bit because this is a bit too heavy um, and also this chin needs to circle under I've just noticed and then I'll go into this with a knife and scrape some of the paint away and reveal some of the pages underneath which will get to lighten up once I put the black in these eyes this will make this section heavier as well which will balance it out a bit because at the moment it's all down here she's coming on pretty well at the moment she's an awful lot of fun to paint she's very beautiful um, and uh, I like painting pretty things <laughs> let's finish her off shall we So, this is the picture, just a, a reference point, that's the one I'm using. So here we are now, we've got the eyes done, very happy with the eyes, I think they look wicked. I'm very happy with this, I'm very happy with the nose, I'm very happy with the mouth. I'm still not happy with that, like this dark bit down here. What I've done, and this is what I do a lot, if you want to change something on a painting, so say I'm thinking here that I need to take this grey here lighter and lose one of these there's three greys here i think that needs to be just two because this is still too heavy so instead of doing that and fucking it up and then realizing i wish i hadn't done that just take a photograph of it and, and just color it out so that's what it's before and then i'm just thinking maybe i should do that i have not fully decided if i should but um it's just on the reference photograph it's quite heavy shadowing so i'm thinking that's what i'm going to do i'll just bring that grey down. Use uh, Photoshop or GIMP or one of those ones just to mock up what it's going to look like. I think that's going to work better actually. If you look at that and then look at that, I think that's going to balance it better. Uh, it takes your eye away from that corner a bit more. Um, this is my thinking at the moment. Sometimes it's um, fate, uh, divine intervention, luck, um, skill. Sometimes and uh, a lot of the times it's just complete and utter clutziness and boorishness. So um, yesterday I walked past the painting uh, with these trousers on, which are yeah, I've got these ridiculous. Look at these lumps of paint in the trousers. These are trousers, so, um, and I caught the corner of her chin and tore some of the paint off and. 
Look what it revealed. How cool is this? Look at that. So it revealed one of the fighters or the warriors. It revealed something beautiful, so I'm really happy with that. So now, uh, it's nearly done. Um, I want to um, cross-hatch a load here, put a load of shadow in like I do with the mouth on around this chin just to take this back. And then I'm going to go to go at this with a palette knife with some white and grey and just get this a bit more texture in the hair. If I can find my palette knife, I seem to have lost it. Um, and then she'll be done. I love it when a plan comes together. If you're under um, 30, you probably won't know that reference. <laughs> There we have it, the mother of dragons all done. She caused a few problems, but nothing too bad. There she is, all finished, all pretty. Lots of cool stuff coming through. Lots of paint, lots of acrylic and uh, emulsion and spray and ink, all this garbage. And uh, I'm pretty bloody happy with her. She looks good. So, um. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, leave suggestions for other people below. Uh, I'm still liking doing a lot of these heroines. Now we've done Buffy, we've done Hermione, and uh, now we've done Daenerys. Um, so any more, leave suggestions down below. And remember to uh, like the video because that's important. And subscribe because that makes me feel loved. Uh, I shall see you in the next video. Bye bye.